Well, the global economic downturn almost brought economies of the most developed nations in the world to their knees. Amidst this, African economies stood the test of time and registered significant growth. Philip Kitani reports on what it would take to tackle issues of global nature. Driven by the establishment of Duma centers, Kenya has made strides in easing the cost of doing business over the last three years. But more is yet to be done in African countries like Kenya that are yet to fully embrace technology and digitize all processes for better service delivery. What we'd like to look at today is whether a combination of leadership, championing, and communicating can address these challenges and others that are faced in the investment climate. These challenges notwithstanding, some gains have been realized even steep decline in commodity prices and tighter financial conditions. The good news is that Kenya is currently working on further reducing the time and cost of clearing import cargo at the port of Mombasa to make it more efficient. We have witnessed how regional integration can be an important way to reinforce competitiveness across the continent. A newly released report is calling for a stronger policy response to counter the effect of external shocks to secure economy's growth potential that is promising in the manufacturing, real estate and construction sectors. Philip Keitan, KTN Business.